everybody so today I have another do-it-yourself video and it is how to make these little clothespins airplanes um, they are super cute I am actually doing this for my son's first birthday party it's gonna be an airplane theme but I figured these are good if you're having um, an airplane themed birthday party baby shower um, bon voyage kind of trip or if a nursery or room is going to be decorated with an airplane theme these are kind of cute to kind of hang from the wall and mobiles that's what i plan to do um give these as little gifts as well as hang um that real th um, clear fish wire and kind of have them suspended from the ceiling so um it's a really quick easy fun little project i've seen a lot of vlogs regarding this but I just figured I'd like to do a video. It's easier to see and follow and kind of shows you how simple and quick it is. So um, just please stick around and I hope you enjoy this video. Um, you're gonna need your clothespin, your glue gun, paint, your two large sticks, two small sticks, um, the little wooden ball for the nose of the airplane, and then a skewer. The skewer is not necessary. It just made it really, really easy for me when I was trying to paint um, and let dry the little wooden circles, um, balls, the little wooden balls. So um, as far as the paint, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, of course. Um, I would either do Michaels or Hobby Lobby and make sure to print out your coupon. I just went, um, I don't think there was any particular um, type. I just wanted red and white. And the ones I ended up getting were Delta. This is Crema Coat Select and it's satin acrylic paint. And then this white one, um, Americana, and it's in color Cotton Ball. $169, um, and this one was $179. And then I had a coupon. So, as far as the popsicle sticks, <clears throat> I got these popsicle sticks, the skewers, and the clothespins. I got those at the dollar store. There are two different sizes. Um, I've seen two different kinds of airplanes. I went with the jumbo ones. Um, I feel like it's gonna make it stand out more, but there is a size that they're a little bit thinner than this, um, and those will also work. I don't know about the width. I just know the thickness there. Um, they're not as, um, they're a little, you know, they're just the regular popsicle sticks. These are kind of like the ones that use at the doctor's office. So either two will work. I liked, I wanted it to be a little bit more, you know, to stand out. And so I did go with the jumbo and um, very reasonable. The little balls, these were, I think, $2.50. Um, so, and then your paintbrush, I'm just using an old eyeshadow brush. Um, you don't want something too thick. I um, mean, you don't want, you do want something really soft because the, it's such a tiny space. And I noticed with this acrylic paint, um, I always have to continue to wash my brush. I couldn't leave it there for like five minutes and come back because then you would get streaky lines. So you just want to um, look out for that. But um, here we go. I'm only making 20 of these and so I already painted these before I decided to make a video. So um, I'm not going to go and, and paint another one. It was a pain in the butt to remove the clip. You do have to remove the clip. Um, that way you can paint the inside. Now my husband was like, um, why do you need the clip back on? Just hot glue it together. I was thinking that maybe I might um, use the airplanes and clip them on somewhere, but the propeller, it's I hot glued it on both, so there's no way for me to even open it. So I could have, I could have done without all that stress of putting this clip back on there. Um, it's up to you. I did use a. I got a screwdriver and pried it open and I'll show you this one. This is how I twist it. The coming off part is the easy part. It's the getting the back on that's a pain. And so then what I would do is I would just really kind of work at loosening it up. And then I just left one intact so that would be my guide how it goes back on. But like I said, if you don't care about having the screw, and I don't think it makes that much of a difference, I would just leave it out. Don't worry about putting it back together and then just gluing it together. But you want to make sure you glue the front right here. That way this um, is open. <clears throat> paint one coat. I would paint all the tops, leave them flat. Then um, I would flip them, do the other sides. And then I did a second coat, but only on the prettiest side that was gonna be the top of my airplane. So I didn't waste um, you know, time doing another second core on the bottom. 
So that will save you a little bit of time. So here we go. First I'm going to show you how I did the nose of the airplane. Got your skewer. Feed your ball in there. Use your paper clip to hold it. And then the second one. I did these white, not realizing that my propeller was white and so it kind of got lost and I forgot they needed to be red. So I'm having to redo that one again. And get your paint, shake it up really well. And then I will let this dry for an hour. And then I'm gonna flip it and do the other side. And what I'll do is clip this top, flip it over, then I start painting from this side down. And then what I do is I just um, turn the paper clips every which way. And then that way they... They stay up like that and dry. So they don't have to worry about them touching the surface or getting caught or anything. Okay everybody, so now we get to the assembly part of our plane. All my parts and pieces have dried and the one sides have the double coats. That's all been done. So now all we need to do is have my glue gun ready to go and we'll get to assemble. Okay, so here is our clothespin painted. And what we'll first start on with is the gluing the wing. So just put a little dollop of glue right where that metal part hits. And then you can mark your wings for the center or you can just eyeball it. I'm just going to eyeball mine. Make sure to also double check which side you did the double coat on. Then I kind of flip it over. You have a little bit of time to make sure it's where you want it to be. Then I just hold on a couple of seconds and we're good. So now flip it and we'll do the other side. You want to make sure though the side that you double coated, this is the top of your plane, the double coated side goes, um, you glue that part. That way when you look at it this way both sides look really good and crisp and, and clean. So. I'm going to do a dollop of glue on that side as well, where that little spring is. And then you can line yours up with the other one. You have a couple of seconds to play around with it. There we go. Okay, and I just hold it for a couple of seconds. And this glue dries really fast, so it's it's that's really good. Okay, now we will do the rudder. So, I always make sure to look for the side I double painted. So now here on our clothespin, we're gonna put our glue here at the end. Just a small size. You don't wanna put too much um, because then it kinda comes out and it doesn't look as neat. Okay, looking for the double side. Kinda center it eyeball it then once you're happy push it down and I do a one two three four five okay and now we are going to get another one of the small ones and this is going to be our propeller so right here the top of it I'm gonna just kind of put glue all over the place right there on the top and on the bottom Then we get our propeller, put it straight in the center. Hold it down. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, and now we are ready. That way. Now we're ready for our nose. The nose of our plane. Pull that out of the skewer. I always double check, see which one's the prettiest side. Get our glue gun. Kind of do it in the center. 
And I don't make I make sure not to put a lot of glue here because then um, this is where it's most visible the glue. So I'm gonna go for the center. Kind of look at it. There it's good. Then just apply some pressure. One, two, three, four, five. And there you go. There's our cute little plane. I am so in love with them. I think it's gonna make a great takeaway gift and also serve as decorations. I plan on putting, um, I did enough of these where I can hang two or three down from the roof or maybe the fan um, with some clear fish wire, or I can um, give some of the kids as takeaway gifts. Thank you, takeaway gifts. And then also a couple of them, I'm gonna have them kind of laying in between the food spread that I have on our table, um, just to kind of add as extra deco. So um, you can use any color, modify it to yourself. I'm gonna take this a step further. If I have time, it's one of my, I always give myself a couple of projects that I will do at the end if I have time kind of projects. And I might do um, his name or the kid's name. I might stamp it or, um, maybe do a paper cut out and kind of tack their name, make something to make it personal on here, um, or just even hand paint um, the, each child's name. So that that's gonna be if I have a time project. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my project. Look, um, if you have a Cricut machine, I got one, a Cricut Explorer. I'm going crazy, so many things that you can do. Um, and I just got it not even a month ago and I've already done so many projects, it's amazing. Um, it's, I think I got it mostly for the purpose of personalizing all these little projects that I'm doing. But um, keep a lookout for some videos, keep a lookout for some holiday deco ideas, um, as well as some more beauty products. So beauty and do-it-yourself crafts, that's what I'm into right now, plus my baby turning one years old. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care everybody. Bye.